Hey guys, Jazzbar here, and I am playing some Defcon. Everybody dies, and uh, yeah, it's, it's a game that's completely based around um, nuclear war and what will happen when it comes to that. So I'm just gonna add some uh, new AI players. So yeah, you're your new player when you join, and you get to choose whichever continent you want. You can't choose Australia, which is annoying. But, um. I think I'm gonna choose uh, Europe because it's got because um, you can get quite good radar range, and I'll show you about that later. And I'll have South America and Africa. I'll go against. All right. I want default settings and default score mode. Starting five seconds. Right, so you start off with this screen, and it's basically just the map of the world. And what you have to do at the beginning is you have to place down all of your units. So I'm going. I have to be. So first, I'm going to place down my radar stations. Now I'm going to place one by Athens. And what's for Spain? There. I'm also going against. South America, so I'll put one up there. I'll have one there maybe. So yeah, that looks like pretty good radar coverage. So got all our radar along the um southern area of our country, our continent, just so we can make sure that when the missiles come from Africa and South America that we'll be able to see them as soon as we can. Now I'm going to place down my silos. Your silos have two modes: uh, ICBM mode and uh, air defense mode. As you can see, uh, this here, it's just like little uh, slanted rectangle on a stick, is the um, air defense mode. And uh, when missiles come towards you or aircraft, um, basically these they you just shoot them down. And uh, the other mode is um yeah ICBM mode so you can fire missiles but there's no there's um no um maximum range on them so you can just fire them to the other side of the world. Um you also have air bases so I'm gonna place down my air bases and uh, I think I'm gonna have one there. And uh, from these you can deploy bombers and fighters and the um yeah, so your bombers can carry smaller nukes, and your fighters can just take down missiles and other fighters. And uh, just have a look at my radar. Yeah, map people. All right, so I think my first target is going to have to be Cairo because it's near me. It's probably the, one of their most defended areas, and um, it's got one of the largest populations of the game. All right, and also you get fleets of um, like ships. So I'm going to have two submarine fleets because the, these are basically um, basically just like mobile nuke launchers and then I'm going to have three battleships, three carriers in one fleet and do, time, do this four times whoops And you have to place all your units after a certain uh, DEFCON. So um, yeah, and as you can see down here, it says DEFCON 4 in two minutes and 47 seconds. And basically, as time goes on, you go to a different DEFCON. So next it will be DEFCON 4, then DEFCON 3, and at DEFCON 1, and that that is where you can fire all your missiles. So I'm just going to speed this up now. You see. The Look is really going fast now. Ah, uh, here we go. This is going to be a sea battle. Oh, and we can't we can't attack them until Death Gone Three. So we cover them. We cover. Yeah, if we're gonna if we cover their path. Three, two, one. War is now beginning. As you can see, the um, your your um, carriers automatically um, 
deploy fighters and yeah um now bat battleships can defend themselves uh, but they're I think they're quite weak towards um submarines um carriers cannot defend themselves at all but they can launch bombers and fighters and submarines um can use like sonar to help spot other units and also they they are they can launch icbms i think oh mrbms yeah, that's quite cool um oh yeah as you can see here south america are getting involved with green fighters there um and another advantage of having your air defense um silos near the enemy players are that as soon as their planes take off you can just bomb them as soon as uh, as soon as it is possible so uh, we've got a while to go why are they not moving why are they moving they should be over there right, so i'm going to move them over there i'm going to nuke mexico here we go defcon one i'm going to fire as i said i was going to fire my um, nukes at cairo but uh, you don't just have to fire on enemy cities, you can fire on enemy silos or radar stations like that or yeah airports and I think you can, yeah you can also fire at ships to give your own navy support as you can see I've got pretty good defense against the bombers that are going to intercept my ships I think or going to South America right. My yep, yeah, my um, submarines are in range in Mexico City, so just in range. I think uh, each each um, submarine can carry five missiles, and uh, they're, they're quite likely to hit if you yeah, they're, they're quite accurate. They they miss sort of I don't know forty maybe thirty or forty percent of the time, but the rest of the time they they won't. The, the ones from submarines won't do massive damage yeah and they, they get shot down pretty easily as you can see you start to see like little yeah explosions um yeah so all my nukes from there are launched I'm going to fire the rest of my nukes at Cairo from this one because Cairo is quite an important place for them alright and uh yeah probably the coolest feature about this whole thing uh, is um you have a whiteboard which I think is super cool super freaking awesome and um you can like draw out your battle plan and then you can clear it whatever you really want to um you get you get to make alliances I think yeah you do but um sometimes it doesn't always work perfectly Oh yeah, as you can see, that the, the um, side for Mexico has got a lot smaller. That's because I've killed 12.2 million of them in Mexico. So I'm gonna fire some of these to get rid of the rest of them. Uh, yep, yeah, Cairo's also gone down a lot. I've killed 22.5 million there. Surprising this, because it's actually going quite well for me. It never really does go this well. Um, it's quite a difficult game, you have to really consider your options before you put them into effect. So, yeah, I've just accidentally put a missile going nowhere. And that won't do a thing, apart from destruct their anti-air. Which is a pretty cool thing. Um, if, like, you don't want to waste, well, it doesn't, it's not really a, a massively important feature, but if, like, you want to become allies with someone you can disarm your missiles in midair so that this one's go this was the um, rogue one which I didn't mean to put that and I I've set that to disarm so it's gonna disarm in 30 30 seconds but sped up yep there we go missile disarmed um let's see South America and Africa are all firing their missiles at me now so I'm gonna have to use my submarines to distract the silos there and um really it's all, it's all about um 
structures. One is to kill all of the people in the enemy continent, get the highest amount of score. So as you can see, I've killed loads of people. That's why I've got a score of 90, 93 now. So I've killed loads of people. Um, but also, like, yeah, you, you have to think about destroying your enemies silos and things like that before the time so as you can see now they are absolutely mullering me with um with missiles I'm getting I'm to send it some fighters to London hit oh there we go. You also have to try and get a high enough score as soon as you can because if the enemy do have silos left, which they nearly always do, um, then they nuke the absolute hell out of your continent and you lose points. So, as you see, I, I went from, I think I had lots of like 78, down to 64 already. So, that's quite annoying. Oh, one of my silos has been destroyed. Oh, has been hit. Um, I think they fused up most of their nukes now, so I'm just gonna take down some of the rogue cities that I haven't hit yet. Oh, and um, it really helps to take down their radars because then they can't see your missiles in flight. Because as soon as you as soon as you launch a missile, it it will reveal the silo's location, but you can only see the missile. Or they can only see the missile if it's in range of a um, thing. And as you can see, uh, radar. And as you can see here, their submarines there have just mullered the absolute balls out of me. I'm on 97. Oh my god! I see my population. They've literally got no, hardly anybody. So even in Cairo they've only got one million people left and hardly anybody up here it's because I've nuked that place the most they've got not many people down there they've got pretty much all there so I'm not sure how long this is going to take for me to win now I've only got nukes left there oh yeah look 30, 33 minutes remaining because of because I've got it on um, maximum speed settings, that will only take what uh, two minutes, maybe one and a half. And um, it's quite wise to, at the end of the uh, towards the end of the game to use all your nukes because the higher the score you get, the more likely you are to win. Plus, um, if if the enemy have a lot of nuke coming towards them, they can't they can't shoot down all of them at the same time so you're most likely going to get a hit at one point or another this quite useful thing so mo most bombers in real life just have to fly over their target and um, drop a bomb but these just like fly near well within yeah within quite a while within quite a way and um, just launch a missile um, as you can see I've, I've won I've got a score of 90 um, I think I had one nuke left somewhere don't know where that is I have 55.6 million survivors, but I've killed 67.5 million people, 44.4 .4 million, 
of my population have died so that's not great um yeah so I'm gonna end it there because I've get I've shown you the basics and I've shown you how to win a game so um see you guys.